Let's begin with the story you'll see only on Eyewitness News tonight. An alleged hit-and-run driver accused of seriously injuring a local woman is free on bail. Now the victim's father is angry and he reached out to Eyewitness News to tell us why. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado spoke with him tonight. He joins us live from Federal Hill with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Mike and Karen, the woman was hit and thrown onto the roof of this car as the driver sped down here on Atwell's Avenue. She landed in front of this Chinese restaurant in front of dozens of stunned eyewitnesses. She has some injuries, uh, staples that were in the top of her head. As Erica Manzo recovers from a broken pelvis, broken tooth, and gashes on her face and head, her father wants to know why the man cops say ran her down is free on bail. I want to know why nine to ten hours later yeah. that this boy got out at five hundred dollars it's just mind-boggling police say 24 year old sean van essen was drunk behind the wheel early saturday when he hit 25 year old manzo on atwell's avenue she bounced onto the roof as van essen took off speeding it was a white car with a girl hanging on on top and, the, and it was speeding by. Manzo fell off in front of this Chinese restaurant. Ironically, father and daughter met on Federal Hill moments earlier. She was with her friends, and then I ran into her as she was walking back towards that way. He got the call his daughter was badly injured minutes later. I was probably two blocks from my house when I got the call from a friend of hers saying it was an accident. And I said, well, that's okay. You know, is it a car accident? She said, no. She said, your daughter got run over. I went, huh. At the Van Essen home, no one answered the door on this night. But Manzo hopes he will soon pay for changing his daughter's life forever. She is a very strong young lady, and my daughter will definitely prevail. Nicholas Manzo would like to see speed bumps put here along Atwell's Avenue or have the street closed altogether on the weekends when it's most busy. Van Essen will be back in court in November. Live tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Alex Toprato, Eyewitness News.